Well, thanks for coming in, um, Zanny, uh, and talking to me about your work in social networking. I suppose I wanted to start with um, the setting for the work, because it's a very specific town in the US with a very intricate history and demographic and social conditions. Yeah. Um, so why did you choose Gary, Indiana as a good project? Um, well, we got a residency to go to the States and initially it was to work with this collective um, that we've worked with before called Temporary Services. Um, they do really amazing work in Chicago. And when we were negotiating with them, they, they kind of suggested to us, they were like, we'd love to work with you guys, but they knew the project we'd done in Redfern. And they're like, you know what, you should go to Gary. This work is a, a collaboration with Keg D'Souza. Mm. We have a collective called You Are Here. And coming from Sydney, I guess we're really interested in real estate because it is in everybody's mm. minds. Mm. It's so expensive. And can you explain the context a little bit? Yeah, well, I mean, mm. I guess we're really interested in spatial politics. And, um, you know, we'd done this long-term project in Redfern and we'd been looking at issues of gentrification. Um, and so, you know, we'd sort of come from a place that um, where artists were moving in, the place was yuppieifying, you know, we had that whole sort of cultural shift that was taking place, the displacement of uh, Indigenous population mm. and a more working class community. Mm. And then you get to see like Gary and completely the opposite mm. is taking place. You've yeah. got like a degentrification. Um, yeah. This is a city that the heart has fallen out of, um, which is not to say that population doesn't have an amazing heart yeah. but you know every second building is abandoned you know you've got incredible history like the first place where Michael Jackson uh, when the Jackson 5 played a gig yeah. is a ruin yeah. you know the, the roof is falling yeah. in. Um, yeah. the Jackson house even is still a small tiny house they erected a little plaque while we were there but Correct. that was the first public kind of was acknowledgement. that stimulated by your presence at all no, no. it had been long-term planned um, good timing yeah it was good timing <laughs> we were there on the first anniversary of Michael Jackson's death so right. I guess that was why yeah. the, the plaque went up while we were there um, but yeah and so it was a completely different process at play and yeah. so I think for us that was really interesting um, to kind of look at a whole other set of factors at play in um, recording and mapping um, spatial politics in yeah. the city. So what is it about Gary that sort of made the work for you or made that it drew you to the situation what we found when we were there was that you know it was such an interesting place that we mm. wanted to communicate that to a broader audience yeah. um, so in the end the film became something that could travel we yeah. showed it in gary but we wanted it to have an audience elsewhere yeah. um, you know because gary was the first city in america to elect a black mayor yeah. which was in 1967 you know it used to be a thriving black metropolis um, it's got it's like a case study in white flight you know there's all sorts of interesting things that have happened in that place and you know we felt that the film could at least tell a little bit of those stories to a wider public. Gary's a very staunch place. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's this phrase, I've got your back, which everyone says, oh, Gary, I've got your back. Um, and there's a lot of pride coming from Gary. Um, you know, I think people are intensely aware of this amazing history. I mean, I mentioned Michael Jackson. Um, and I mentioned Richard Hutcher, the black mayor and stuff, but it's also an amazing steel town. You mm -hmm. know, it was one of the biggest steel producers in the world, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, has this incredible working class history as well. Um, and so I think everyone's intensely aware of that. Um, and everywhere you go, people really want to talk it up. But the reality is also that it was the homicide capital mm. of America. So that's yeah. two homicides a week, roughly. Um, when we interviewed the mayor, he was like, oh, it's been a good month. There was, um, there was none in the last month. Um, wow. So that's how they sort of count yeah. the progress on this issue. Yeah. Um, and it's also really poor. Yeah. Super poor. Yeah. You know, people were saying, because 2008 and the financial crash had happened in America, mm. that there wasn't that far to fall in Gary, because yeah. they, they were already really poor. Yeah. When we came from Sydney, I mean, Sydney's a city where real estate's at a premium. Yeah. So our vision was, oh, we'll go and transform one of these abandoned houses into a, a community meeting place, and we'll have a community garden. Then we get there, and we realise it's actually, it's totally different. Yeah. There's lots of space. There's, yeah. In fact, there's too much space. Yeah. It, the city is dying, in yeah. a way. Um, and the locals found the houses depressing. They didn't want to go inside them. So we mm. had to totally change the project mm. once we got there. So we shifted to say, OK, we'll work with the outside of the house. Um, and instead of a community garden with separate plots, um, we're just going to do a free picking garden. Mm. If something's free, you can't steal it. You know? So we yeah. kind of slot ourselves into that yeah. kind of Change economy. Of, yeah. yeah, economy of recycling slash yeah. reusing slash stealing, which kind of goes on, you know, yeah. in a place where people have got yeah. no money. Yeah. Um, 
Is it, if it, is it even theft in that context? I don't know. Is it? And these yeah. houses are totally abandoned right. and people are probably not going to come back. No. So they strip, get stripped of the copper wires yeah. and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I guess it, it is about survival. Um, and in a way, the story of Gary has now become the story of quite large chunks of America yeah. with the financial crisis. Um, and that is, um, says something about, I guess, um, and you know, an economic system that's been riding all these booms, um, but the bust comes and, you know, this is what ends up mm. being the kind of spatial politics or the reality in cities after, mm. after mm. the bust.